Hello all candor parents and guardians! This tutorial will walk you through how to navigate Schoology as a parent user. So in this tutorial, we will cover the process of logging in, toggling between your parent account and student account, as well as checking on your students' grades, assignments, and overall progress in their Schoology courses. Please note that this process will require you to use the parent access code that was emailed to you on Friday, September 11th, just before 4 p.m. So if you did not receive an access code for each of your students, there might be a discrepancy in our school database, or the access code may have been sent to an old email address, or perhaps another guardian listed on your student's information record. If this is the case, please fill out the form at bit.ly slash parent access code. This is also linked in the description of this YouTube video, and in the description you will also see a link to a video tutorial which will walk you through on the process of creating your parent account using that access code. For now though, we are going to move forward, assuming that you have already established your parent account and we are going to go ahead and log in. So the first step is to go to Schoology.com, like you can see here, and then select Login in the upper right corner. Please use the email and password that you use to create your Schoology parent account. For the purposes of this demonstration, my student is called Crash Dummy, like you will see in just a minute, and his mom is called Karen Dummy. So I'm going to log in with Karen's credentials, which is karen at candorcs.org, and then I will type in the password that I created when I made my account using the access code. So now that I am logged in, it is important to pay attention to the name up in the top right corner. As you can see here, I have logged in as Karen Dummy, which is the parent account, but I am defaulted when I first log in to viewing my son, Crash Dummy. The fact that Crash Dummy's name instead of mine is at the top right means that I am actually viewing Schoology through the perspective of Crash Dummy. Also, if you notice, you will see the light blue banner at the top of this page, which confirms that I am indeed looking at Schoology through the point of view of Crash Dummy, my son, who is a student at Kander Central School District. Now, the following is very important. In order to see exactly what your student sees, you must click on your name at the top right and select the student's name for whom you wish to view grades and other progress. So please make sure that it is your student's name here with the green check mark and not yours because if I click my Karen account, it will show me something completely different and I won't get very far. So let's select Crash from the drop down here and now we should be good to go. So now that I'm viewing the system through the point of view of my son Crash, I can see everything that is going on in Crash Dummy Schoology World. In this box at the top right, I can see most recently graded items, including assignments, tests and quizzes, and discussion posts if your teacher does that. Please note we are not using Schoology at Candor to take attendance for in-person or remote learners, so please don't worry about that feature at this time. Now moving over to the larger box, more in the center of the page, you can see all of your students' recent activity. This feature serves as kind of a news feed of the most important recent events in the courses in which your student is enrolled. This can feature grades earned, submissions made, and other data. However, again, this is only the most recent activity. You can click more at the bottom of this window here to expand the history of events, or up top, you can click this drop-down menu and filter by content type. So you can choose updates, submissions, comments that your student or the teacher has made, and grades earned in the recent past. If you would like to see what your student sees in specific courses, please go ahead and click Enrollments. This will produce a list of any courses in which your student is enrolled, and every course that shows up on your student's schedule will populate here. Uh, for this example, I will click into Crash Dummy's Spanish 5 course, and here you can see that the course is in a view-only mode, just as your student would see it. Please note that parents cannot interact with the course like students can. In other words, they can't post comments or submit materials to the course, but students do indeed have that capability from their account. Next, we're going to take a look at how specifically you can see your students' grades. So if I am back at the Parent View Dashboard, what I can do is access my students' grades by going to the Grades button up here in the top CCSD toolbar. When I click that, I then want to choose the Grade Report 
button from the drop-down. From here, you will see a list of all of the student's courses in which he or she is enrolled. You can click on any course name to see specific grading details for your student. For this example, I'm going to choose the Spanish 202 Summer Build course. Once I click on the course name, the grades will populate underneath. Because we are using a four-quarter system, I can expand any grading period, but we are still in the first quarter, so I'll expand Q1. As you can see, this has automatically been expanded because that is the quarter that we are currently in, but as we move throughout the school year, they will consolidate and the only quarter that you'll see automatically open is the one in which we currently find ourselves. So under here, you can see all the assignment categories for the course, as well as any assignments that have already been posted under those categories. Next to the name of each assignment, you will see its due date and its time. Further to the right, you will see the assignment's grade if it has been graded in green out of the total possible points always listed in gray. If you see a dash followed by a total number of points in gray, that just means that the assignment does not yet have a grade. This could be because it has not been submitted by the student, or perhaps it has been submitted and just not yet graded by the teacher. Now this paper symbol in this current event assignment is very important. If you see a paper symbol next to an assignment, that means that the student has made a submission. Finally, to the right of the grading data, as shown down here on this HyperDoc assignment, you can see any comments that the teacher has left for the student. One item that we would like to bring your attention to is represented in this comment on this exact assignment. Unfortunately, we have found that last spring, students were actually submitting blank assignments to Google Classroom and Schoology. What happens is this creates confusion and frustration because it appears to outsiders, such as parents, that a submission has been made and that the student is done with their work for the day. Technically, this is true. The assignment has been submitted, which you can see from the paper icon here. However, because the student simply submitted a blank document or a template that the teacher created for them and did no work on that template and instead just submitted it right back to the teacher, the student did earn a zero. In this case, my son, Crash Dummy, tried to be tricky and do that. The teacher caught on and left a comment right here. We have found that this has caused some frustration and communication breakdown between students, parents, and teachers, so please do check the comments from teachers to ensure that students may not be telling a little bit of a fib by saying they have completed all of their work, when in reality, they just submitted back to the teacher a blank template. It will absolutely look that way in Schoology. You will see that paper icon, but in reality, the student may have submitted just a blank document. Teachers should make note of this in the comment section to keep parents in the loop. That should cover how to navigate Schoology from a parent perspective. If you have any questions or would like a one-to-one -one walkthrough of these features, please do not hesitate to contact me via email at btaylor at candorcs.org. You can also call me via phone at 607-444-5707, or if you email the general questions at candorcs.org email address, one of us will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything you're doing in your students' life to keep them on track right now, and please stay healthy. Take care.